Wait a minute. What do you got? What do you got, babe? Yeah, for anybody watching this, she does have tags. She has three tags, actually, but they're up at the house. Let me get off, and I gotta figure out how to get them back on a new collar that I got. I got our camo one. This is what my pit bull does. People see pit bull and they freak out. They think scary dog. And she's far from scary. Now don't get me wrong, she don't know her. And she could mess somebody up if she wanted to. That's the best dog to have though. A loving dog, but yet a dog that could take care of business if push came to shove. Hey Layla. Might need to meet a new friend one day. His name's Lucifer. <laughs> I know you guys probably laugh when I say that. Well I got a friend of mine. Rachel, she has a big dog and she named him Lucifer. Thought that was hilarious. She got a nice shiny coat, girl. Yeah, this is the best time to be out right now. Sun's down, it's cooler. She was overheating earlier. We actually walked to the Dresden drive through and then we came home for a while and then we went down to the dollar store to get a couple bags of candy. Layla, say hi Lucifer. Say hi Lucifer. I'd probably call him Lucky for short. Yep, this is my life, guys. This is what I do. I'm completely devoted to uh, content creating now. I do have Snapchat. I do have Twitter. I got it all. I got literally got everything you can have. And some of it I have no idea how to even operate right now. But... I got every social media platform out there right now. I'm trying to go for it one more time to make a splash. Hopefully you guys and girls like my videos, um, my content. If you do, do me a big favor and maybe share some of my videos to get, get, uh, get a little bit more recognition out there. And, um, you know, if there's any of you out there that would like to do, like, a video collab or something like that, like, like, work on a video together, I'm game. If you're interested in that, hit my inbox, man, or, um, all that stuff. Just find me. And I just officially announced today that I will be doing one final Gretsch and Block film. I'm going to do it right, guys. Here soon, I'm going to be posting a video. Layla, you're all wrapped up now. Here soon, I'm going to be posting a video. And I'm going to explain exactly what the DVD is going to be about. I got a... Hold on, I gotta set this down for one second. Sorry about that. I had to set the phone down for a second to untangle her. But yeah, about the, um, the film that I just announced today called spruce bill all you locals out there in the east liverpool or surrounding area i'm sure you've heard of gretchen block i've been investigating that place since the year 2009 i've had several i want to call them mediocre mediocre films that came out 
I'm all self-taught, guys. Nobody taught me any of this stuff. I, I teach it to myself, and I've come a long way, and I'm really excited to, uh, to let you guys experience this final installment. But I was saying earlier, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do a video here soon. That's gonna talk about the film and what it's gonna be about, everything that it's gonna entail, all that. I know a lot of you see October 2025, but I'm going back to the drawing board in this installment, guys. I'm doing it right. I I will tell you this. It's going to be extremely long. It's going to be extremely long. And I was thinking, um, do I want to sell it, um, the documentary? And if I did, if I did, if I did, guys, and this is a big if, I would donate 100% of the earnings to the Columbiana County Dog Pound. And how I would even do that, too, I mean, just to prove that that's exactly what I'm doing and I'm being truthful is you guys can just give them all the money and they would let me know you bought it and I'd give you the the DVD. Um, I've been really thinking about, do I want it to be, you know, do I want to solicit this film? I don't know. I mean, I don't want to just make it on YouTube, you know what I mean? Because money's tight, man. Money's tight with everybody nowadays. And I don't want them paying me for to watch something that I created. I, just, I don't know. It just kind of... I've made money on movies back in the day. And I honestly, I don't even know how I made money off this film. Seriously, they, they just weren't, weren't good enough, in my opinion. But... I don't know. I was either way. I'll make a hard copy of this this documentary. I'll make a hard copy of it, um, just for myself, pretty much. I mean, if you guys and girls would want a hard copy, I mean, I'd probably have to charge a little bit because it it costs money to do them DVDs, and it ain't cheap either. Let me tell you, it's definitely not cheap. But I will also put something up too, guys. Um, and and you don't have to do this at all, but you know, I'll put this thing up for donations that'll go 100% towards um, producing this film. This is all out of pocket for me, the the whole thing. I'm gonna have actresses playing the roles again. Um, yeah, nothing's finalized as far as actresses go so if you're interested um esther hale and gretchen i'm pretty sure esther's already filled and i'm kind of leaning towards someone for gretchen right now i'm not even going to say who it is yet or say who esther is i mean actually it's kind of funny because the ladies um they the mom i talked to the mom and she was the one that mentioned her daughter or something like that Right, Heather? <laughs> yeah, but it's it's going to be good, guys. Uh, like I was saying, though, I might only have, uh, you know, a physical copy just for me. Cause I, just to have, you know, I created it. I want a physical copy. That's just me. But I'm also considering putting the entire thing on YouTube. Because it could be as long as I want it to be on YouTube. You know what I mean? Um, It'd be very uh, expensive to make a documentary that's several discs long. I just want to be, uh, I want to be able to afford it. So it'll probably go straight to YouTube. And like I said, I will have physical copies if you guys would want one. It'll be print on demand though. You'd have to buy it and then I would get it made. All that jazz. But I can only do a 10 minute video here on uh, TikTok. So, um, I want to say goodbye to my TikTok friends, and hello to my YouTube guys. You guys, girls that are out there watching this right now, just look up in the uh, description, and you'll see the link to my YouTube channel. I just started it. Um, I'm going to have a lot longer videos there, there, over there, um, in depth, 
So look me up. Look me up, guys. And if you're still watching this video right now, you are on my YouTube. Because we are past the 10 minute mark. I got a few interesting videos that I'm going to be posting here soon. I think a lot of this information you guys are about to be exposed to is really going to drop your jaws. It really will. Later. Let's go this way. But for those of you that are new to the channel, Layla is my dog's name. I got her from the uh, Columbiana County Dog Pound. And um, it was only $160, dude, to, uh, to adopt her. And I even donated 40 bucks as well. Hell, I paid somebody $80 just to drive out and get her. Because I got no vehicle right now, so I had to have this lady. Um, she drove me out, and I paid her money to take me out there. I put a decent amount of money into her, but like I was saying, it's well worth it. I mean, look, you get if you go to the Columbia County Dog Pound or pretty much any rescue, animal rescue place, you're going to get a well-behaved dog. They've already been exposed to a lot of people and different dogs. And as a matter of fact, they don't even put them up for adoption unless they're good dogs. So you can be assured that if you go through the Columbia County Dog Pound, that you're going to get a good, well-behaved dog. Not only that, you're rescuing them. Now, Layla here was a pit bull mix. And uh, she was the first dog that jumped up to me. And I walked her right away, and that, that was it. I'm not one that's going to walk 100 dogs and be exposed to uh, 100 dogs that I can't rescue. 99 that I can't rescue and one that I can so I, I, I got her immediately. Um, the decision was really quick. Now, where I live, I wasn't thinking. And I'm like, oh, no, what about the breed restrictions? So when I took my paperwork down, you got to, you know, it's like a $100 pet fee. Just a one-time fee. And um, you, you go down there, you pay that fee. You got to submit photos of your dog and all the paperwork. But another reason why I'm saying it's well worth the money is because Layla here, she's got a tracking chip. You know, she came with a license. She's got vaccination um, tags as well. Like I said, they're just not on her right now, but they're up in the apartment. So all that, guys. And they gave me a food and water dish. You know, a good bowl, too. Not, not generic bowls. They gave me a good one, and they gave me a collar and a... And a leash. Now this right here, I I just recently purchased for because it could support dogs up to 114 pounds. And uh, I'm almost taking a pee, but it'll support dogs that are up to 114 pounds. And it's for high energy breeds. And trust me, my dog is all that and then some. So I uh. Um, this is well worth it, man. I am currently going through a divorce right now. Actually, where my wife is at, she's actually in New York. And she has to be a resident of New York for two years or something like that before this divorce can be finalized. So, and I did have two 14-year-old dogs, a, a Golden Lab and a German Shepherd. Hank and Charlie. Charlie was the shepherd, and he uh, he went blind at seven. But he was one of the best dogs, well, most well-behaved dogs I've ever had in my life. And that's where I got him. My sister actually got him for me for Christmas um, from the Columbia County Dog Pound. And Hank, my golden lab, he, he was uh, given to us um, where my wife worked. They were they had puppies and they were giving them out, so we got Hank for free. But 
they're you know they're 14 guys they're big dogs they ain't supposed to live that much longer than that and uh hank could barely walk whenever i my wife left and she took both my dogs and she won't even let me know if they're okay but thank god she still communicates with my brother because my brother was able to talk to her and uh relayed the message to me that my dogs are fine and that's great and all I love that. I'm, I'm very happy to know. But I also, by the same token, I'm missing all of the latter years with them. You know what I mean? And guys, dogs are huge to me. I love them as much as people. Hell, maybe even more. Um, If I ever made it big on TikTok, and it'd be funny because you can scroll back many years from now and watch this video. Of me saying that. But if I ever made it big on TikTok guys. Wherever I move. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to get as many dogs. As the law will allow. And I'm. I, you know I'm just a guy. With like one. one uh, Like a truck for winter. And a car for summer. And that would be it. And if I, if I made millions guys. Like some of these TikTokers do. Huh. Dude, I would be so generous with my money. Like, I'm not even lying. Like, I, I would, I would really be helping a lot of people out. Some people that probably don't even deserve it. That's just me, though, man. You know, I wanna. When I leave this planet, I wanna, I wanna leave in good standing with God. That, that's who I am now. Um. Some of you might already, let I get out of there, I want you to get ticked. For some of you that know, I, you know, I did have to go to sober living, I went to detox, or basically I went to recovery for six months. And I'm completely good now, doing great. That's why my wife left me, actually, is because she was sick of uh, being a blacked out husband, I don't blame her. And I take total responsibility for, uh, for her leaving me broke my heart put me in the worst depression i've ever been in in my life I'm suicidal I actually try to do stuff you know in my life on on social media on video it's ridiculous i was i was so lost man like recovery was the best thing i could have ever done and i always knew that i'd be getting a dog when i got out and I always wondered, is it going to be a him? Is it going to be a her? I've always had he's. And it ended up being a she this time. And I always wondered, what kind of dog is she going to be? What's she going to look like? What's her personality going to be? And a quick backstory on why I named her Layla is my wife could never have kids. Okay. And if I had had a daughter, I was going to name her Layla. So right there, that's my daughter. Layla. She's one to two years old. They didn't quite know. She's done a lot of growing since I got her, though. She's really got a lot more muscle. And if you're still watching this, guys, um, consider subscribing to my channel. Go over to TikTok. All the links are in my description. I'm, I'm having a hard time making them linkable, guys. Um, I did this verification stuff, but it's asking me to do it every single time. So, just stick and paste. Just stick and paste the, the URLs. You know, I'm on Snapchat, I'm on TikTok, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Facebook. I'm on all that, man. Hell, I, my phone number is even on my contact information. You guys are welcome to text me anytime. I don't want phone calls coming in all hours of the night. But, um, I mean, would I talk on the phone? Yeah, yeah, eventually. But, I mean, I can't talk to, like, Anu or even Layla. All right, guys, hold on. She sees something back there. Nope. This way, baby. Come on. Hey! This way. Come on. Thought I seen something over there earlier. It's either a cat or a groundhog. Come on, on this way. But I'm on all the social media, guys. You know, I do paranormal videos. Um, 
uh, or current events. Sometimes I'll do personal stuff. Obviously, I do stuff with my dog. I do everything with this dog. Like, I walk her everywhere, man. I walk her everywhere. No, we're not going back down there, little. Up here. Up here. But like I said, if you're this far in the video, man, you're a subscriber already and you don't even know it. Right about 20 minutes here. I ain't going to make it much longer than that, guys. I'm going to be heading in. But definitely subscribe to my channel. Hey, get off those. No. Some of these shorts. Somebody left a really nice pair of shoes here on the picnic table the other day. They either got them or somebody got them because they're not there now. But yeah, there's my building. It's my building. But that's it, guys. Um, and girls, you'll notice I say that a lot. Um, I'm going to sign off now. And, you know, real quick, though, it, it, it's you guys that are going to make me make it or not. Yes, it's up to me to put out good content, but it, you guys control everything. Like, when, and everybody says this. Everybody says this. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that stuff. So I don't want to be that guy that constantly has to say that. But it just really helps out, man. It does. They ain't lying, dude. Like, you're the bread and butter. You really are. You're the oil that gets the, the motor going. So without you guys... I can't do what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Just can't do it. But uh, that's it for now, guys. I'm signing off. I'm going to go inside, play some Xbox, create some content, probably watch some of you guys and girls live tonight on, on your TikTok. So signing off, guys. Peace.